Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video today. If you are new, welcome. My name is Mallory. If you are not new, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this cute little Christmassy tea using hippo sublimation ink and hippo sublimation paper along with just a plain white polyester t-shirt. So I recently converted my Epson EcoTank printer into a sublimation printer. Well, I guess I didn't really convert it as I never used it as a regular printer. When you purchase it, it comes with individual cartridges for your ink. And all we did is um, fill up, we tossed those cartridges aside because we're not even gonna use the regular ink. And I filled it up with the Hippo Sublimation ink. And I will show you guys a video that I watched. I'll link it down below. It was super thorough, walked you through everything, but it's really the easiest thing ever. You just unscrew the cap and tip it upside down into the printer and fill up your ink. Um, I'll show you guys a quick clip of what I did and it's really easy. So if you're on the fence about converting or buying an Epson EcoTank for sublimation because you think that it might be hard, it's not. It was so easy. You can sublimate on so many different surfaces. <clears throat> I'm still trying to work out the kinks with sublimation tumblers, but I've done some ceramic mugs. You can do phone cases, pillow cases, um, little, you know, like tote bags and t-shirts, of course, but it's such a fun, cool little project. And if you guys are interested, keep watching. I will have all of the products that I used in the description below. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them in the comment section for me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would mean a lot if you did that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, I am on Creative Fabrica's website. This is where I find about 90% of all of my fonts and images for anything that I'm working on. So just to give you a quick idea, here are some of my favorites. These have, you know, PNG files, graphics, fonts, um, you name it. Anything that you could possibly be looking for is on Creative Fabrica. And they have a couple different options. You can pay for each individual item. You can buy a subscription that runs monthly. You can cancel that subscription at any time. I do have a promo code right now that can get you the subscription for just $1 a month. It does renew after that. Um, I'll link everything so you guys can read the fine print. You can cancel at any time. Everything is... Um, available for commercial use. It's normally like $29 a month, so it's a really great deal. If you guys are interested, go ahead, check out that link. If you have any questions, let me know. I have been using them for quite a few years and I don't have anything negative to say about it. So anyways, here is the image that I found, totally free with my subscription, and I just downloaded the zip file and then I'm going to import it into the Silhouette Design Studio. So here is the image once we've pulled it up in Silhouette Studio. And the first thing I want to do is adjust my page settings to the same size as the paper that we're using. So we're using just normal eight and a half by 11 size paper. So I'm going to adjust that. We don't need any of our, you know, cutting mat or anything like that because we're just printing this straight from the studio software to our printer. So all I'm doing here is kind of adjusting some of the images, sizing them to make sure that everything looks visually appealing to me. Um, I wanted the Merry Christmas to be a bit smaller than the trees. I wanted the trees to stand out and pop a little bit more. So. That's all I'm doing here. Whatever image you're using, um, size it accordingly, obviously depending on the size shirt that you're using. So from here, because of the size of the image and the size of the paper, I know that I need to rotate my image because I want it to be a little bit longer than the eight and a half inches wide. So all I'm gonna do here is just rotate the image, size it a little bit bigger, um, make it a little bit wider, and then center it in the center of the page. Now, 
To print this, you're just gonna go to your little print icon and once everything's centered and where you want it, when you pull up your printer, once you've connected your Epson printer, obviously, you'll see it pop up there and you're gonna go to preferences. You really wanna make sure here that your paper type is set to premium presentation paper mat. And that is really important. You want a high quality and you also want to go to more options. You want to deselect high speed and then select mirror image. You need to make sure that you mirror your image so when it prints, it's kind of like upside down and backwards. So when you place it on your surface, it shows the right side up. So some people from here change the ink settings and stuff like that. I don't mess with it. I have found that it prints perfectly fine just how the Epson um, ink settings are set up. So here's the quick clip that I was telling you guys about earlier. This is how easy it is to fill up these ink cartridges. So each individual ink cartridge has its own lid and you they all come empty and you're supposed to put the Epson ink into it and it's kind of the same concept as this, but we didn't do any of that. We just immediately placed the Hippo Sublimation ink and you just set it on top, you push it down, you kind of feel like that rubber um, seal opening up and very slowly you'll see that ink will start to rise. So you're gonna fill all of them up the same way and then close up your lid and you will need to reset your ink levels and do um, the first time you do it it like warms up the ink and stuff like that but i will link the really really thorough video that i watched in the description but it's it's really as easy as i'm showing you guys right now So just close it up and just for reference, you guys can see I filled up the blue a little bit more. Um, same concept. And here I'm just um, selecting the colors that I refilled. So if you're doing this for the first time, your steps will be a little bit different, but again, it walks you through everything. So now we are ready to actually print our image and we are using Hippo Sublimation Paper and it has like a light pink side and a white side. You just wanna make sure that you are printing your white side face up, like towards you, and that's what your actual image is going to print on, the white side. The pink side is the back. And here you just wanna confirm that your paper settings are the same as what you input into the computer. So you wanna confirm that you're doing a premium presentation mat. And this is sped up, it definitely does not print this fast, fast, but um, you'll see when it does come out that the images are a little bit dull and they don't look true to what you uh, had on the computer, and that's okay. That's totally normal. So from here, I have found that if I kind of rip the edges of the paper, it leaves a little bit of a softer line and you don't get those harsh press lines when you press down with your heat press. So I'm just tearing um, lightly all around the edges, doesn't need to be perfect, and I'm gonna kind of fold it in half so when I put it on the shirt, I know exactly where the center of that design is. So I'm just gonna do a little crease right on that star just to help me later. And again, we are using 100% polyester t-shirts. Um, you want at least 65% polyester. Once you start having too much cotton, your image isn't going to uh, stay into that fabric. It's gonna wash out and it's definitely going to be dull. So this is just um, like a large roll of white parchment paper or butcher paper. Um, you don't want any sort of glossy film on it. So just a big roll of butcher paper. I'll link that down below as well. And you need one for the top of your shirt and then one to go inside your shirt. So the reason you wanna put one inside is because when you press that image, the ink is actually going to seep all the way through. And if you don't have something inside to protect it, you're gonna get part of your image on the underneath of your shirt or on the back side of your shirt. So just place your 
put your paper inside and then uh, when you're ready, you're gonna turn on the heat press, let it warm up for a while. And for sublimation, you need at least 400 degrees. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm using the Impress heat press. I don't know a whole lot about this. Actually, my fiance, hey, that sounds kind of fancy, huh? We just got engaged. But my fiance bought this for me um, a few months ago, so I'm still kind of getting the hang of everything. But this is just a open and shut, I guess, clamp heat press, but it works great for these simple projects. So once it is completely warmed up, we're going to apply our shirt to the heat press and I'm using a lint roller to just remove any fuzz or pieces of hair or anything that might be on there. You don't want to press those into the shirt because they definitely will stay. So place your second peach of second piece of butcher paper on top of your shirt and we're just going to do a light quick press for about four or five seconds this is just to release any moisture and release any wrinkles that might be in the shirt before we actually apply our image so you're also going to need some um, high temperature tape i will link that below as well it's pretty pretty cheap not expensive at all but um some tape to help keep your image center. You know, you don't want it to move or wiggle because then that ink will do the same. So take your image once everything is lined up, really make sure everything's centered. They do have really nifty measuring tapes and I have one. I just, I never use it. I eyeball everything and hope for the best. So here I am again, just removing any of those lint roller or any of the lint with the lint roller. And I'm gonna take my image and place it upside down. And I always go about three finger lengths down. So I put my fingers at the bottom of that collar and three finger widths down is where I put my image. And I'm just gonna center the collar and my fingertips and that little crease that we made where the center of the star is right on my shirt. And then you're just going to use the tape to secure a few pieces just to make sure that it doesn't wiggle at all. So a couple on the sides, a couple on the top, and then lay your parchment paper or butcher paper on top and you're going to press down for 45 to 60 seconds. I do a full 60 seconds on these 100% polyester t-shirts and you can already see how that image is darkened. That's perfect. That is all the ink that has like sublimated into that shirt. So it's not gonna wash out. It is actually on there. It's not like vinyl, so it's not gonna peel off. You don't have to worry about any of it. I immediately take my lint roller and just kind of roll it over the edges to help soften any of the press lines that you might get. You shouldn't have too many because we ripped the edges, but just in case, um, a wash or two will, will remove those. But here it is all done. Look how bright and vibrant those colors are. There's no weeding of vinyl. Super easy. Literally print it out and press it onto your shirt. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section for me, and I'll see you guys next time.